and welcome back to the ADSB University powered by Free Flight Systems. My name is Pete Ring. In this final chapter, we'll take an in-depth look at the ADSB solutions Free Flight Systems has to offer. The first certified 978 UAT solution was the Ranger FDL 978TX transmitter. Not only was this our first certified unit, it was the first certified UAT solution in the industry. This unit is available for installation with a limited Cessna single engine approved model list and the AW139 by Augusta on an STC or TC basis. The system was certified for single antenna installation, but you do have the option for a dual antenna installation. This is commonly referred to as diversity. Additionally, there is an option for an internal WAS GPS card for those aircraft that do not have a current WAS GPS unit installed. Certified this year and selected by the Capstone program to equip some 600 plus aircraft in Alaska, the Ranger FDL 978 XVR transceiver incorporates the same base technology as the Ranger transmitter with the addition of ADS-B in technology, all in a single unit. The FDL 978 XVR is available for installation into a number of aircraft listed on our 450 plus aircraft approved model list. Additionally, the system is available for installation with several different rotorcraft as part of our multi-model STC that is based off of the Bell 206. As with the FDL 978TX unit, the FDL 978XVR also has the option for internal WAS GPS and was also certified to be a single antenna installation, but you still have the option for a dual antenna installation. A common concern for many operators who need to equip with ADSB is panel real estate. With both of the previously mentioned Ranger units, the required panel space is minimal thanks to the TC978 control head. This simple to operate control head will minimize the amount of panel space required for an ADSB installation. The TC978 will provide fault information to the cockpit from the Ranger FDL978TX and the Ranger FDL978XVR. Helping to eliminate any additional workload, the FTM190C will automatically decode your mode AC transponder and duplicate your transponder squawk code onto the TC978 control head. The FTM190C is fully TSO'd to help eliminate dual entry issues. In addition to our 978 based offerings, we also offer the Ranger FDL 1090TX. This Mode S extended squitter transponder is a remote mount solution that meets the mandate requirements to operate over flight level 180. The FDL 1090TX is provided with ADSB position data from our 1201 WAS GPS sensor and STC'd for installation into several different airframes. Manufactured in the United States, our WAS GPS sensors meet all the standard requirements for ADSB position source. Available with an RS-232 output from our 1201 or an Air Inc. 429 output from our 1203C units, the Free Flight Systems WAS GPS sensors have the right configurations to meet a variety of different needs. Announced in the summer of 2013 was an integration with the Garmin GTX 330ES and the Free Flight Systems 1201 WAS GPS. This solution is ideal for customers who either don't have the panel space or the desire to add a panel mount WAS GPS. Supported by both Garmin and Free Flight Systems, this option will provide a low cost alternative for ADSB upgrades. In an effort to offer a variety of solutions that meet the demands of a broad aviation market, we have also developed the Ranger FDL 978RX ADSB receiver. This unit provides subscription free ADSB weather from the 978 band and traffic from both the 978 and 1090 band. With display interface options for both integrated displays and wirelessly to the iPad, the Ranger FDL 978RX unit provides the flexibility to meet the demands of several different markets. Thank you for viewing this chapter of the ADSB University. If you have any questions on the material you just viewed, please feel free to contact our sales team at sales at freeflightsystems.com. One of our qualified ADSB experts will be more than happy to assist you with any questions you may have. Thank you.